Hi. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Getting there. Slow progress. Slow progress. Um, but still progress nonetheless. Spindles on. You can see it's uh, it's been used. So um, what I'm going to do is I've done some test cuts with this. Um, not worth showing, trust me. But smooth enough. Uh, just to make sure the spindles all kind of lined up and the, the tool heads lined up. Um, I'm going to use that to tram the bed uh, later this week, but I want to get on with the print, so I'm going to change the tool. So I thought, I know it's rough, it works, so I'm going to show you how I change my tool. So obviously power off, always power off. I'm just using a Molex, Molex? No, heart and plug. Yeah, heart and plug um, with screw terminals. So if I want to add, change, modify, move, like I do all the time, I can do that. And everything else is inside inside here, um, connected to the control unit. On the cooling side of things, where's the other end? On the cooling side of things, I'm using a dry fit, quick connector, if you can see that right. Um, so they just plug in and out. So in this case, uh, I'll grab my snips quickly. At the moment, it's sacrificial uh, cable ties, like they always are. So Cut some cushion. Put that one side. I'll put that in my pocket. Just out myself as I am, just that way. So I'll just show you quickly. I don't know if, ever, don't know if anyone's ever seen these before. They're mainly used in hydraulic systems. Um, hydraulic liquid, liquid cooling. Done. So it's just a, uh, and that's it. The best thing about this, I can run the coolant through this. Um, so I never have to worry about the spindle draining down, but if I ever need to release it, like I'm doing now to change the tool, nothing comes out. You get a little bit, you know, a little bit moisture there, but nothing drains out in the sense of uh, it doesn't start dripping away. So disconnect that one. I definitely need to come up with a quick fit change. <laughs> I will do. You know, it's kind of like a concept thing for me because uh, I'm new to this. Not to machine building, but at least I'm new to this is sort of my, my core, sort of like my baby I've been messing around with for the last year and a bit, and it's not light, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> I was sensible enough because I was attaching a spindle. Excuse me for going out of frame. I was sensible enough to uh, put a bolt in the bottom. I will eventually put a quick release in there, but. So now, the bottom of the bottom, I was on the way, it wasn't moving. I've got to put together my own equipment. God, I don't know. Just can't get help, can you? Anyway, yeah, there we go. M8, simple little M8 bolt. And, let's see if it works this time. Oh, no, I'm just being stupid. There we go. That's that weird. So, one tool off. Put that to one side. So we're safe, preferably. Oh, that was a hoover up. I read it that. There we go. Right, so I usually just tuck these up out of the way. That's a lot easier said than done, but. <laughs> now I've changed things around as normal. Right, so behind it, I've got everything covered in dust. So like MDF, dangerous stuff, <laughs> annoying stuff. So behind it, I've got piezo hooked up, um, all connected to a Do It 3D tool board for a Do It 3. So that's my probing, and that's all linked in via CAN bus. And then on the 24 volt slot by it comes up to this plug here. Obviously everything's disconnected, so I won't be touching it. Be really safe, eh? And then just a, a RJ RJ11 connector, um, just down the side here, which I just went off plugging. You'll see in a sec. I just kind of run the, that connector there. The hard plug connects up here. That's linked into the various correct pins to go back to the board to control the uh, pellet extruder. So I'll get on with that. 
I'll hopefully keep this out of the way somehow. Yeah. I think we can figure this one out. Can I do it that way? I'll just have to, I'll just have to tie them up this way. I'll just have to do it like I do with the spindle. That's fine. I need to think of a better way to run these, definitely. Maybe on the outside. We'll figure out. All in the making. Right, up we go. I definitely need to think of a lighter system though. Oh my god. This thing gets very lumpy. Fantastic, but it works. So then, heart plug in the front. I know loads of you sparkies out there be going, "Oh my god, this is dangerous." It's not. It's all good. Believe it or not, I do not touch this thing when it's live. And then connector goes into the back. I definitely need to make that a bit short, don't I? Make it a bit tidier. I get cable tight. I love cable ties. We fix everything with cable tie now. That's how I can run this nice and tidy compared to compared to everything else. <laughs> Before you think it, I don't have to worry about this. This is cooled by this, so this never gets above. Um, I think a peak I've added like 30 degrees. Absolute tops. That 150 mil fan kicks out a lot of air. So no problem cooling the uh, feed area. Which is a def definite must. Oh, didn't pull too much on that. Why I'm bothering cutting them off and making a difference to your stacks. As you can tell, it's not stacks at the moment. Purely uh, functional, I suppose, is a, a proper way of putting it. So, on here, I have I've left my capacitive sensor on there at the moment because I need to check that my probe works, which I'm pretty confident it does, but obviously not overly confident because I haven't ripped this off yet. And I've got a drip free board because unfortunately, the tooling board and the well, any of the tooling boards or the YXT boards, unfortunately, do not support a thermocouple. So I'm having to use a uh, extension board at the moment to support my thermocouples that are uh, mounted in my heaters for the pet extruder. Yeah, fingers crossed they might come up with a better way, or even a board that I can add to it to give me, you know, transfer it to a different signal. I, I, they'll figure it out. They're better. They know better than I do. <laughs> fingers crossed they figure it. That'd be nice. They could reduce the tool in face here because I need to, when they're designing a whole new, a whole new, a better style hopper and enclosure and cooling kind of like all in one gubbins and basically just really take it from there to be honest. So we'll find out if this does the job. Right, so I'll switch this on and then uh, see what happens. 